Okay. Hello? No, now it's working. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, I'm Chema Casanova, and uh, with Christopher, uh, we work for Igalia, and we have been working uh, se several months ago, uh, working on enabling uh, OpenGL applications to work on on X server when we don't have uh, enough memory in the GPU to work uh, and, and use the, the, the acceleration. Uh, in this uh, talk, we are going to work about how the X server model settings, uh, driver, Glamour and DRI3 are connected to provide us the capability to use GL applications. Uh, then we work, uh, we we analyze the issues we have on hardware with limited GPU. It is the case of the devices from Raspberry Pi 1 to 3. We explain the technical approach that we try to, to work in order to solve that and the current status of, of this work. So uh, a brief introduction is uh, mainly about what X server to make work. In the, in the past, we need to implement an X server driver and a Mesa driver to have support for applications but as that the, we have the model setting driver if our uh, kernel driver has support for kms uh, we have the x server working so if, if your gpu has already a gl driver uh, the glam glamour allows us uh, to take advantage of uh, the gl for doing the composition of the piece marks of the uh, that are used by the windows that we are exposing so uh, the enabling Glamour makes also available the DRI interface uh, to any in the X11 server. But there is an issue here. Uh, if our devices has, uh, are limited, limited by GPU, like the case we have, for example, in the Raspberry Pi 1, 2, and 3, that has a hard limit of 256 uh, megabytes uh, of continuous memory addressing, in that case, we have the problem that is related that we, if we run out of memory, we could have issues. This is not an issue in the Raspberry Pi 4 because the, the chipsets included the, uh, an MMU, so we can access all the whole memory in, in that. This has been used uh, since the release of Raspberry Pi OS uh, on the Debian uh, bull size version. So, Seen that, that it was last year at the end of December, uh, or Raspberry Pi 1, 2, 3 are using the model setting driver. But uh, when Glamour is enabled, uh, everything was fine, and at the moment we run out of CPU memory. How we can reproduce that issue? You just open multiple applications for the screen, and one of the applications is good to, to test it is just run Chromium open several tabs, that is a normal use case, and every window or tab is going to use GPU memory. If you are lucky, and the moment the system, the kernel cannot provide you new GPU memory, the application could crash, is that this allocation was done by the application. But if you are unlucky, are you using Glamour, as any, uh, you just launch a new window, there is not available, uh, available memory for handle that window, the problem is that the X server could crash. So that is not the kind of user experience we want, because the only solution is to restart the, the X server, or what a user would do is to reboot the system. So one of the solutions is just disable Glamour, but if we have this disabled, uh, we don't have access to the, the hardware. So uh, the devices previously to Raspberry Pi 4, uh, the decision that was taken was to disable Glamour by default. So at that moment, uh, there is DRI is not uh, available, so all OpenGL that can be used is software rendering currently. So we were exploring if we can have a DRI three implementations on the model setting driver that doesn't uh, does not require Glamour to be enabled. So it's the work that we have been doing. So Christopher will continue with the technical approach we, for this work. Thank you. Uh, so basically our goals uh, were to do the uh, X server software rendering for desktop. Uh, this way we didn't use any CMA memory 
um, on the X side of things. To allow DRA um, imported exported PIX maps using uh, OpenGL or GLES, um, that was basically the most technical and difficult portion of this. Um, someone, I think it was you, had found the Nouveau patch where they enabled the DRI3 uh, without Glamour. So for enabling DRI3, there's four main functions that you have to implement. Um, it's the screen init, which basically sets up the DRI3 extension calls. Uh, the DRI3 open, which opens the device and authorizes its usage, um, the actual card. Uh, PixMap from FDS to create a PixMap, which wraps a DMA buffer FD. And the FDS from PixMap, which backs an existing PixMap with a DMA buffer. Uh, there are a few more DRI3 functions. I did not list them here. Uh, the uh, get modifiers, uh, get drawable modifiers, get formats. Um, they're fairly, they're required for our use case, uh, but they're not very technical, so I didn't include them. So the DRA extension implements sharing direct rendering buffers between the clients and the server. Uh, basically, the client will allocate the buffer, and then it gets shared to the X server. Uh, this is an improvement over DRI2. It uses a more secure sharing method uh, that uses prime DMA buffs, uh, which are essentially just file descriptors. Um, but, you know, we like to fancily name things here. Um, <laughs> the DRI3 implementation also uses the present extension, uh, which shows the rendered buffers onto the screen, and it handles synchronization with the V blank. For our particular implementation, we used a GBM to allocate buffers for the PixMap backing. Uh, this way, GL applications had something to write into, um, basically GBM BOs. But when we did that, we did have to negotiate uh, linear modifiers uh, because of using tiled versus linear. You know. um, so that way they can get composited by the X server. So our current status, the implementation is functional with a VC4, which is a RPI 1 through 3. And it's also functional on V3D, which is RPI 4. Uh, the desktop does render using software, and the GL applications work using GBM BOs for PixMap mapping. Uh, compositors such as Mutter do work. We did test a couple other compositors. They are functional. Uh, I do have to do some more testing with this on an Intel box. Most of the testing was done with Raspberry Pi. Um, however, I did submit the MR uh, upstream for review. It's 945, I believe, is the number. The review actually seems to be stalled uh, at the moment. So if anybody could provide some assistance and take a look at that to see if we can get this actually upstream, that would be great. I don't know what the holdup is, um, but I guess maybe X is dying and nobody wants to review stuff anymore. <laughs> Bingo. <laughs> um, so now we have some time for some questions and answers. I'm sorry, with this construction, I'm, I'm only catching half of this. It's actually not noticeable at all. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, so basically the question boiled down to performance uh, with software rendering on the desktop and is it noticeable or not? Uh, for typical use cases, no, not noticeable at all. Uh, really, I couldn't tell the difference. I mean, I could do some actual measurements and get you some actual numbers, um, but look and feel and things like that, it was, you didn't notice it at all. No, not a problem. I can complement, for example, launching an OpenGL uh, application. The, 
use cases simpler of using launch GLX years. The frame rate using Glamour is around 40, 50 frames per second, and it's reduced to 420 something. It's not really noticeable when you are doing the composition in the X. The good thing is that it's the current situation. It has always, uh, X server has always used in the Raspberry Pi uh, from one to three, the sober composition doing by, uh, by the PixMap uh, 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 framework. Does this mean uh, that you are running single buffer compositing and uh, kind of co copying the GPU frame buffer uh, from XLR to Windows into the front buffer? Uh, yes, uh, we are doing the bleed at the, we received the buffer and we bleed it uh, using Pixman. That's the reason of being a linear buffer, so it's done. Another question? This is a good question. I'm very glad that my GPU. <laughs> <laughs> so well. So, another question. Thank you very much.